Hello, I'm very happy to see you on my channel. This video is highly requested by a lot of girls and to be honest I'm surprised by that because um, in my videos my makeup is always so simple. I like the no makeup makeup look. Not the nude makeup but no makeup makeup look which is very very simple. So, I um, didn't pay attention a few times. I got a request to show my makeup products or like a makeup tutorial because I thought, what can I uh, tell you when I, my makeup is so simple? But you keep asking, so I decided to share with you. And then when I um, searched makeup videos, on YouTube, uh, I realized that, okay, I think I can film something like this because most of the times, every single video that I stumbled across on YouTube dedicated to makeup uh, was a video where the beauty guru would pile on products so much foundation and so much, um, so much foundation and so much, uh, concealer and I can tell you 100% that it might look great on camera, especially with the harsh lighting, um, but in real life, uh, it looks cakey, it looks very, mm, not fresh, you know, and when you cannot even ski, see skin through the amount of foundation, the primers, and the concealers, and plus baking all of that, which is like applying a lot of powder on, mm, it, it, it just doesn't look right in real life, and I can promise you that 100%. Because I've seen it. Um, my philosophy on makeup is that I like the no makeup makeup look. So, not nude, but the no makeup makeup look, which is um, any really good makeup artist will tell you is the hardest to achieve. Um, but I think that for some at least, that is the best look that you can go for and so I decided to share with you what I keep in my everyday makeup bag I have two makeup bags one of them is very large and there I have a lot of products and then I have this one that I use every single day um, this one is a really nice one I got it when I bought the Allure magazine, Allure, I pronounced it right, it says Allure here, it's got all the slip stains on it, kisses, I thought this was really cute, and so I will share with you some of my favorite products for no makeup, makeup look, because again, um, I don't really uh, go for that full face makeup, I rarely do, and this is not the video where I would touch up on it. So, we open the zipper like that. To be honest, the zipper is... I, um, I used to like playing with it when I was into zipper sound. But I think I'm kind of over it. Although I still enjoy running my nails, like my fingers on it. Even for my nails, you can guess that um, I like natural stuff look, and that's what I go for most of the times. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is, of course, the base. 
but I do not wear a base under foundation because all of the times that I've tried testers, um, I didn't like it. Uh, high end, low end, I did not like it. So if I find something that I think is worth sharing, I will. But so far, I just haven't. So on top of my very, very, very light moisturizer, I moisturize my skin with um, uh, rose water and aloe vera water that I keep refrigerated. I might talk about it in a different video. I apply maybe a tiny bit of um, very light hydrating cream and then I um, apply my foundation. My foundation is this one. This is Berlin. It's a French perfume house, Gala, but they also have really great cosmetics. Um, it has an SPF of 20, P, A, 2 plus. I do not wear um, an SPF on a daily basis. I wear foundation. I think it's enough. I know there are going to be people who will say, no, it's not enough. For me it is. I I haven't even tanned um, this summer. But if I go to the beach, which hasn't happened in such a long time, then I would wear an SPF. It's just that my skin is very sensitive. So this one doesn't uh, irritate my skin and it does not clog my pores. Um, it looks very much like skin. It's called Denute. Perfection. Me and my best friend, we constantly argue about what is the perfect um, skin. We're like the perfect uh, uh, foundation routine. She likes it very matte. I think that when it's too matte, it looks dead and I don't like that look. I like it matte but not too matte. I like it dewy, but not too dewy, as if you're not wearing a foundation at all, okay? This one is the one. Uh, if I had to choose one product that I would have to uh, spend money on, and then the rest of the product choose from drugstore, I would choose foundation. I like foundations by Guerlain, Clarence, Shiseido. Not everything, of course, I haven't tried everything, but I can say 100% that in drugstore, unfortunately, so far, I haven't found a foundation that would be skin-like and that I didn't think was cakey. Most of the times, I don't like it. Even the so hyped up uh, bourgeois um, healthy mix serum, I did not like it. The packaging is very simple, as you can see. I was very disappointed by it because I used to own Guerlain Aqua, Baru Aqua, and their Peru Extreme uh, when I was a poor student. Yes, I, I had no money, and I'm like a newly graduated student, so I'm still poor. But foundation is one thing that I would save money and buy a good one because. Uh, it's your skin. If your skin doesn't look good, then especially that I cannot wear uh, SPF creams because I just haven't found one that would not clog my pores and not be drying. Um, that's why I just have this. I like it. And before, it used to be in a really nice gold uh, bottle um, and they have made it very simple and now it looks like any other foundation on the market uh, like high-end foundations so I hope they decide to bring the old packaging back it was much more for lamb and this is just you know very tea
you a simple park island, not enough imagination. If anyone works for Gerlein, could you pass my little word for that? Um, for any other brand, this would be fantastic, but I don't know. I just really miss that really nice gold bottle. My color is 01 Beige Pale. This is too dark for me in winter, but now it's perfect just because I'm very pale. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I tan. I don't get red. I tan, but I'm still very pale. So that's the foundation, and sometimes I powder, sometimes I don't. I do not own a pressed powder. I have one, but it uh, is not in a presentable condition because I've broken it. Um, in 2012, when I was in Moscow, I got this, um, Meteorites by Berlin as a Christmas present for myself. And I was so happy when I got this only for, I think, paid $20 or something, because I had, um, credit card, um, there. And I didn't know, but that credit card had saved bonuses for me. So, um, when I paid with that credit card, and that bank was probably like partners with the shop, uh, um, I basically like all of the bonuses covered the cost. Um, it was a special Russian edition. It looks like this looks white, but they're not all white. Some of them are white and matte, some of them are pearly and white, some of them are pearly and pink. Uh, but I think in Asia, um, this is their permanent uh, collection. Okay, so the blush color that I want for my face is bright. Uh, I don't like pale colors. I like fresh, juicy colors that make me look young and fresh because that's what I am, that's what I'm supposed to look like. This one by NYX NYX. It's called Angel Orange. So this is how it looks. It's a very nice peachy color very nice on the cheeks and I like bright peach and bright pink colors and sometimes I mix them. I really like this one by NYX. NYX. And then another blush. This one my mom got for me. This is by Lancome. And I don't know if it's a sample size or full size. Looks like full size but might be a sample size. Um, this is a very bright pink, it's called Delicate Oil Free Powder Blush Shimmer Pink Ball. It's a very bright, shimmery pink um, brush by Lumine. Lumine is a Finnish brand, and I got this brush as a present because I was buying something in one of them. And it's not a natural brush, I can tell it. But it's very soft, it picks up the products. Right, so once I'm done with the chicks, chicks, once I'm done with the chicks, once I'm done with the cheeks, I move on usually, I think, to my eyes and then to my lips. I think so. Most of the time it's the colors. Um, that I would go for uh, with my lips, as you might have noticed from my videos, are a very are red and peachy nude. So it's either a really nice fresh red or a really nice warm peachy nude. When I say peachy, I don't mean orange. I mean a little beigey. Um, with a slight of heat of um, brown and peach, you know, very um, fresh, juicy.
you see color I do not like dead colors sometimes I might wear wine colors in um, autumn but it's not my cup of tea to have very bright lips um, if it's bright usually it's red or like um, blue red and wine colors but for summer I prefer red so if it's red then I use usually a pencil because I see women with um, lipsticks and on their teeth which I find absolutely ridiculous I hate it so to avoid it I use a lip pencil so it's a really nice lip pencil by Isadora Perfect Lip Liner 31 Prime Red but there are many other brands that have red lip liners this is not a unique one that you have to run and get this is a good one but it's not unique and as for uh, nude lip liners I have actually plenty of them some of my favorites are this three my most favorite is this one by Chanel it's number 34 natural and um, I was very lucky to try it because it was $13 um, when the price really is 30 so I got it with a discount I tried it I like it and if I see it with a discount I would get it uh, because it's the perfect color will suit everyone it's very um, long-lasting it's a beautiful 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 nude and if you apply it all over your lips it might dry the lips a little bit if you don't apply a balm but if you do it won't trying to find a substitute for my Chanel one I bought this too this one is by Isadora and then this one is only two dollars um, and it's called Chat Noir I think it's made in Germany but I believe it's a Russian cosmetics made in Germany so the color is 73 it's a very nice peachy um, nude I will link all the information down below this video so you can go and see so I like a very well defined lip line um, I like a very sharp well defined lip line I know a lot of people hate it but I like it I, that, that's really I could say that's uh, definitely a signature look of mine I like very well defined lip line then my absolute favorite nude lipstick that I could recommend 100% and not um, be afraid that you might be disappointed is this one by Lumine. Um, it's, their, it's their Wild Rose Lipstick collection they have a classic collection and have this one and it's 88 Bernatcha the packaging is fantastic um, the classic lipstick collection the packaging is terrible but the lipsticks are wonderful this one is very nice and the color is the most wonderful peachy pink no it's not pink it's mm, peachy beige nude that you can ever find I think I, I haven't seen it um, anywhere uh, I have a few nudes but this is my favorite it's very lively color and it's not uh, it's not orange you know some of the peaches colors can be orangey this one isn't so I really like it it's hydrating it's fantastic 
and you know how girls will always like watch who has what when they're touching up on makeup I'm not ashamed to take this out and put on my lips um, the thing is that when I was little um, I remember some of the times there have been a few times when I would get so disappointed when you're little you look up at beautiful older girls and then some of those girls would take uh, their makeup bags and I'd see their makeup like they would touch up on their makeup and it looked so terrible and dirty and messy and ugly and I remember my disappointment as a little girl that's why there are certain things such as um, lipstick and powder, pressed powder, which I don't have at the moment, but I think have to look good. Uh, the packaging matters, where the packaging matters, because that's what you take out from your bag, touch up on your makeup, that's very important to me. It's just a pet peeve of mine when I see broken caps of like powders, just dirty, it's just like, I'm sorry, like there might be people out there watching me, but then you know what? Get it fixed. Get it fixed. Okay, and last but not least, eyes. In summer, I go really easy on the eyes. Um, the eyeshadow that I really like is this one. This is another holy grail that I absolutely could recommend with an open heart. This is Bourgeois 08. Remember this. Bourgeois 08. Although I will have everything written down below. As the most fantastic beigey color can be used as a highlighter on your cheeks. It can be used as a highlighter under your brows, like, do I like a brow bone? Anything, it's so multi-purpose a little bit. Um, over here, top of your upper lip, you know, it's just so good and it's such a multi-purpose um, eyeshadow. I haven't seen anyone on English YouTube talk about it, so I highly, highly recommend Bourgeois 08. It's their Ombre uh, Papier Eyeshadow Collection. It's a very good one. Again, 100% would not regret it. This is a fantastic one. It's such a multitask. I also like sometimes to create like a crease over here with a bronzer or any light brown eyeshadow. I used to like uh, the duo ones by Logona. It's a German natural brand, but they discontinued it. Um, so I just use any bronzer. I'm not going to show you any particular uh, product. Just any warm but not orangey color brown uh, because I have flat eyelids. I have almost no upper lid, uh, flat hooded eyes. Um, so sometimes I like to uh, draw a little bit, no, not draw, but just like powder a little bit over here. I think it looks nice, but today I haven't done so. I think it doesn't look too bad. Depends on my mood. Mm, in summer, usually I don't do it. Before applying mascara, not always, but now that I have it, and I used to have it before, I've always applied this Lash and Brown Conditioner. This one is by Oriflame. It's there, the One Collection. It's a very affordable thing. This is not Dior's uh, Lash Serum. Um, it's very affordable. It's very good. It's a transparent gel. Like the Dior one, if you put that on it, like it's white. This one is in white, this is transparent, and this is more uh, just conditioning, it's not meant to be 
a base for your um, uh, for your lashes, for your mascara. So I just like to think that my lashes are being taken care of before I apply a mascara on. And I tried another uh, brand that is a natural brand and my eyes started stinging and just got really red. I had to wash it off. My eyes are extremely sensitive and this one works fine with my eyes. They're fantastic high-end mascaras. They're great low-end mascaras. One of my favorites is this one by Essence. It's the I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Um, I've already washed this mascara, finished it, so this is how it looks. It's not how it looks when it's full, obviously. Um, you can use Maybelline, L'Oreal, um, but this one is very, very good too. And then, um, right now, my favorite mascara is this one. This is Helena Rubenstein Lash Queen Perfect Blacks Mascara. I think this is the best mascara that I've tried up to date. I got it as a present last year, I think in November. So, or in December, maybe. Um, if you check out my Instagram, I have a post there about this. Helena Rubinstein was the first woman to create the modern mascaras with a brush, and I'd seen one golden tube in Marilyn Monroe's uh, makeup uh, case, and I think that tube they still have it. Mm. And then after that, I got this as a present. I didn't even ask for it. It's a fantastic mascara. Usually with mascaras, my problem is that after a week or two, I will feel that their texture has changed. I don't like it. I like fresh mascara. I like that feeling of just opened fresh mascara. And so when I see something goes bad, even though it says that you can use it up to three months, some say six months, I throw it away. I cannot use it. And this one has stayed nice and fresh. The texture hasn't changed at all. And my eyes are extremely sensitive. They say that I have sensitive eyes with being underestimation, actually. So, definitely a keeper. And also because when I put uh, more coats on, it does not um, feel heavy, you know, perfect. Uh, one of my favorites. Um, take this into consideration too. And the Essence one. Uh, last, but sometimes least, sometimes not least, um, a pencil. This is the typical white pencil. Well, mine isn't white, mine is beige. Um, again, it's by Isadora. It's their uh, inner line, Kayal pencil and liner. Um, sometimes I apply it before the videos, and I think this makes my eyes look more awake. I wanted to try a white one too, but I tried one by NYX. I did not like it. I want to try one by Chanel. Mm. We'll see. Uh, so far, I'm happy with it. Um, let me apply it so you can see if you, you see any difference. So that's how it looks. I don't know if the camera will catch. No, it actually does catch. It does, because I've noticed that in videos when I have this on my eyes are more open. So I like this as a light finishing, last finishing uh, touch. And then I can also do a little bit of uh, highlighter. I can highlight with the bourgeois one that I showed you. I like this highlighter. I have a few of them actually. This highlighter by MAC. This is MAC Shell. If you're pale, this one is perfect for you. If 
you have more olive skin or if you're black then you would have to look for something else this wouldn't um i don't think this would make you look fresher i think you would have to go for something different i forgot what i wanted to advise you i will um i will um write in the description box okay so this one's this one is a creamy one i like it especially in winter it's fantastic but in summer too i sometimes use it and then if i want to make a statement like oh yes i am wearing a highlighter then you can never go wrong with the um mirror luminizer it's, um, you get tons of product will last me years so it's a very nice champagne color yeah but it's not discreet it photographs very well too i've noticed that the one by bourgeois is very discreet very nice i could highly recommend that one too they're very different though this one and that one but um this one is more i'm there and bourgeois is one that's more discreet um, let me see. I think I have nothing left. I have a little bit of, um, usually now, uh, for under my eyes, I use my foundation. I got this one, uh, this is supposed to be a concealer for the under eye area. This one is very light. It's, it's again, the one by Aura Flame. Uh, Illy Skin Concealer, and I got the number two, which is pink based, but um, it's fine. It's it, it's nothing special. It's very light. That's very important that you do not use concealer that's too much, like too overpowering, looks too dry. This area has to look hydrated. Okay. Um, too dry looks lifeless and terrible. Might look um, might look good on the camera, but in real life, no. So this is it. This is all that I wanted to show you. I hope that you liked it. I hope that this was somewhat useful for you. I really showed you my summer favorites, um, and. I hope that some of the products you actually do try. Um, in autumn, I will film an uh, autumn makeup tutorial with colors, eyeshadows, and everything. But in summer, especially when it's so hot, I don't feel like wearing too much makeup at all. And what can I say? You can join me on my vlogging channel where I'm uploading more about makeup, about my making journey and stuff. Meanwhile, um, I wish you good night, sweet dreams, and wake up strong and energized in the morning. <laughs>